How's it going fellow agents? So Massive just dropped the launch trailer for their next content drop and it's packed with information, packed with goodness, packed with just amazingly amazing awesomeness. And no, it's not some filler content that you would expect, but, but actual content and it's not even been a month since launch. I'm pretty excited because if this is the level of content and the level of quality that they're going to be delivering on big content drops, color me impressed. I mean, you have to hand it to Ubi Massive. They are doing so much right right now. Just wish they did the story right, but enough of that. Invasion, Battle for DC is the name. And here is what you have to look forward to. On April the 5th, you get your final stronghold titled Basin. As you can see here, the actual encounter looks pretty damn impressive and looks to excel even past the Roosevelt stronghold. We're also going to game two new exotics, an LMG called Pestilence and a Marksman Rifle called Nemesis. We have no idea how to attain these, whether these will just be random drops into the open world, or whether these might actually be Stronghold specific loot. We just don't know anything about these yet, we don't know how they drop, but we do know that they're coming tomorrow and they will be in the update, not tomorrow. We're getting three new gear sets, Hardwired, True Patriot and Ongoing Directive added as of tomorrow which will be available to all users from the update which will be available as of World Tier 5 after you beat Tidal Basin. I assume you'll actually get some of these drops from Tidal Basin as you win to take you into World Tier 5 so that would be cool but it's coming. We're also getting our first apparel event. This is a special event that will last for 4 weeks. April 5th to May 2nd. Yes, you heard that right. April 5th from Friday to May 2nd, where players can get special event caches. Yes, it's caches. I know you're going to go batshit crazy, but just remember, there's no duplicates and you can earn the caches in-game. The special event caches contain cool new outfits, weapon skins like you're seeing on screen right now, other things like emotes, you can also get masks from these caches, which is pretty cool. The one you're seeing on the screen right now is pretty much with a clear visor, so you can actually see your character. How awesome is that? For those of you that wanted something like this in Division 1, your prayers have been answered. Year 1 pass owners get free additional free caches when they log in during the event. I mean, that's fair. They're supporting the game. They're giving them more cosmetics. It is only cosmetics, it's not pay to win. So I'm totally fine with this. If you want to support Massive by giving them money to create more content, then I feel that you should be rewarded in the process. And this is just like that. It's not pay to win, and I think it's fair. We're also getting a new PvP map called Fort McNair. And that sums up the April 5th update. Pretty chunky. Tidal Basin, two new exotics, three new gear sets, first apparel event, and a new PvP map, Fort McNair. That's just for the 5th of April. Then we come to the 25th of April when the doors to the raid Operation Zero Hours finally opens up. Now based on the last video I made, we can clearly see what was leaked is pretty much here. The surroundings of what was described is basically what we're seeing here including the airport runway. So I'm expecting really good things from this and it does look absolutely crazy. Additionally, Year 1 past classified assignments will now be available as of April the 25th. So if you do have the year one pass, not only are you getting Operation Zero Hours like the rest of us on the 25th of April, but you're also going to get the nine or 10 missions that basically are a prologue to how Washington DC fell. So pretty exciting stuff. If you're a lore buff, if you're a story buff like me, I hope they did it right. I'm looking forward to those a lot more than most things that are coming. So hopefully, hopefully, they won't fail to deliver. And then coming soon, we have the fourth specialization and you can clearly see it here. You don't need me to spell it out to you, but I will anyway. It is the minigun. And I wonder how many of you will actually go out and pick this up and main this as your own specialization. I mean, damn, that's some pretty good content right there. I hate to say it, but right now, Ubisoft's The Division 2, right now is the loot issue to beat. It's doing everything right. It's giving you content, depth, customization, recalibration, tweaking, build building. It's giving you everything. Sure, they're nerfing along the way. Sure, they're tweaking and doing sandbox updates along the way. But this is a looter shooter. You expect that sort of thing, especially in a game that actually has PvP, right? So all in all, I think this update is amazing. I think this is going to push the division to new heights. 
and I for one am starting to become deconverted and want to look into the division a hell of a lot more. They're just doing so much right right now. They've got everything going for them. And at the moment, the only thing that I will say that's truly lacking in the Division 2 to make it a complete masterpiece in my eyes is the story. And had they nailed that, well, I don't think anyone could have stood in their way. Right, that's pretty much the update for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, let me know in the comment section below. Are you excited for the apparel cashiers? Gear sets? New exotics coming along? Are you ready for Tidal Basin with your 450 plus gear score? Are you into PvP? And if so, what does Fort McNair mean to you? Are you looking forward to the raid on the 25th of April? Classified assignments? Or even just the minigun specialization? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, agents, remain legend.